What's going to blaze our podcast? Welcome back to Challenge Boy Jared, y'all. This is going to be a little sneak peek into what I'll be posting on the Patreon. Shout out to Patreon. Black Star Podcast. That's what that's the Patreon. Um, Yeah, this baby mama is going to be... Um, you know what? I'm going to let y'all fucking see this. Mom to two, still living with her child's father, looking for a new man. Oh, my Lord. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Let's go ahead and get started with this hot mess. Hello, Kendra. Hi, what's your name? I'm Taylor. Taylor, where are you calling us from? Texas. I can't, you gotta talk louder. You have me on a Bluetooth? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, but maybe take the Bluetooth off. Hello? Okay, can you hear me? Lady, that meant take that bitch out your motherfucking ear. Seriously? Hello? Um, Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. (laughs) All right. Hold on. Sorry, I'm at work right now. Can you see me? Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm in Texas. Texas. How old are you, Taylor? 29. 29. What do you do for a living? I'm a front desk agent at a hotel. Front desk agent at a hotel. You have any kids? Yes, I have two beautiful boys. One. Hold up. Let me just check. Let me just interject right here. So you are basically a receptionist. Don't you got people to be checking in right now while you on the phone with Kendra? Stupid ass people. One in three by one man. Why are not together? It's complicated, honestly. That I'm it's complicated bullshit don't work. Try again. Next. We took off your Bluetooth? Yes, I did. Can you hear me? Okay. So you have a one-year-old and a three-year-old by the same guy. You're not together? No. You don't know why? It's complicated. We just don't mesh at all. Like, I'm a very affectionate person, and he just did not show any affection at all. Well, y'all was affectionate enough to, for you to dog gonna get your gut splattered inside of. But yet... Give me one second. Let me see. Okay. Sorry about that. I thought it was going to connect again. Okay. But yeah, um, we're just um, not compatible at all. Honestly. Not compatible at all. Okay. Yeah. So we got Taylor, Texas, 29, front desk, got a hotel. What's your zodiac sign? Aries. Aries. Mine yes. are two kids by the same man. Um, one and three. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for a man that's honest. Um, a loving man, a man that's able to express himself, that's not afraid to love a woman, show a woman that he cares about her, like go on dates, hug me, kiss me in public, um, stuff like that. Like, I just want a man that's romantic because I'm a very emotional woman and I'm a very loving woman. So if you're not honest and you're not, you know, ready to actually love and go through the ups and downs and be there mentally, and emotionally, then yeah, I don't okay. want you. <laughs> what are your deal breakers? Um, someone that's not passionate, um, a liar, and what else? That's really it. Sorry, Kendra, I'm nervous. <laughs> I watch your show all the time. Sorry. So you don't want a man that's a liar. So you telling me that? You can sit here and say that y'all didn't work because of some bullshit. Now you want me to believe this? <laughs> okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, at this point, I honestly don't even care. As long as you're attractive to me, I don't care. You could be white, Asian, black. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Don't tell me you've been here before, have you? No, this is my first time. It's her first time. Cousin, she's yeah. first time. Okay. You say you're open to our races. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? Mm, uh, I guess 
75K? I don't know, Kendra. Honestly, it's not really about the money to me because I'm going to work every day and provide for my kids. So the money isn't really a big deal for me. The more, the more, look, sorry. <laughs> the most important thing to me is the love and the respect, honestly. Okay. Um, and okay, let's do the Kendra cam. All right. Give me one second. Okay, look, you're in good shape. Okay, good to see you, mama. I'm so, so we, I can't believe you picked me, but go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, girl. All right, so we got Taylor, Texas, 29, Aries. Um, do you want more kids? Uh, yes, but it has to be a serious commitment before I do that. Okay, serious so commitment before you do that. All right, Taylor, um, when was your last relationship? <clears throat> Okay, Kendra, don't get mad, okay? So, me and my kid's father is complicated. We still live together, but we're not together. She don't like liars, but yeah, that's a fucking lie in and of itself. So, how in the hell is it that you don't want to lie, but you expect a man to come in and accept you while you still live with your child's father? And you telling me that y'all not smashing? So you telling me that you're not getting no damn dingling from this man. And I'm supposed to believe that like a dummy. And believe, oh, she's a good girl. She don't want a dog going to be with him. Like a stupid motherfucker. You expect me to believe that shit, ma'am? I know I'm dumb. I know I'm crazy. I know I may have some damn problems with me. But I know for motherfucking sure that that's, that's some bullshit. Who in the hell do y'all women think did Y'all must think men are just dumb. Y'all really must think we stupid. Y'all seriously must think we stuck on stupid and everything in between. Stuck on stupid, crazy as hell, and delusional as shit. So that's the big, yeah. <laughs> I gotta start calling my ladies out. I gotta start calling my ladies out. Let me tell you why. And you should have been calling these hoes out. We all know they some hoes. We all know that. Kendra, you just now finding out that your that your that your uh female callers are just a trash. You you just now found that out. You you didn't think to do some damn research before your ass come on this damn internet here and dog will say anything about these hoes. Cause we all know they some hoes. They some hoes. They some hoes. I don't know these some hoes. And I say this with love. I say this with love to my sisters. And I hope you receive this with love. But I get a lot of women who say things that there's piss in the dating pool, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're going to move forward. I already know that some men would probably have a challenge with you having two young kids, a one-year-old and a three-year-old, right? Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to move forward. Now you're telling us that you live with your baby daddy and you think a quality man is going to want to date you in this position in your life? Um, I don't see why not. I mean, we're... This whole just said, I don't see why not he wouldn't date me. Bitch, you still live in, your da in the damn house with your baby daddy. We don't know if that man is clapping your cheeks and damn getting you pregnant right as we speak. We don't know that. So for you to be, you know what? Now I know why she's a receptionist. Because she ain't got the brain cells to figure other shit out. You know what? I ain't even gonna fucking waste my damn time. Now we know why you damn, why you got two kids by one man. Ain't never been married and still living with the nigga. On the damn dating show talking about, I want to... I want to fucking find a new man. You got to be the stupidest motherfucker we all know. We're not together. Like A quality man is not <laughs> choosing a woman that has a one-year-old and a three-year-old that still lives with her baby daddy. And a quality man ain't choosing a baby mama, period. That's what you need to actually tell them instead of lying to these hoes. That's not what a quality man is going to choose. Now, a man might just want to have sex with you who don't really have no future plans with you, 
he probably take you out because he don't want nothing. A man who in a relationship already and knows that he can mess with you on the low because you already live with your baby daddy, so it's an equal opportunity situation. But this is not what a man who was trying to set up a life with a woman would choose. And I feel like as much as I... Niggas ain't choosing these hoes, period. <laughs> okay. Y'all y'all really want to know why, why black women the least married? You're looking at it right here. Stupid ass decisions. And then want somebody to come in and damn fucking accept this stupid shit. Ma'am, you still live in a house with this nigga. Who the fuck gonna take that serious? You gotta be one stupid motherfucker in order to damn accept that bullshit. Someone that's not passionate, um, it's, um, a loving man, but, okay. but yeah, um, we're just, um, not compatible at all. Okay, that's telling me you've been here before. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? Provide for my kids, so, honestly. Okay, um, and, okay, let's do the Kendrick cam. So, so we, I can't believe you picked me, but go ahead. When was your last relationship? We're not together. Sorry, I'm trying to get back to where I was at. I fucked up damn. I was trying to damn click play and the bitch restarted. So that's the big, yeah. <laughs> I got to start calling this, this in the dating pool, right? In your position in your life. We're not together, like. A quality man is not <laughs> choosing a woman that has a one-year-old and a three-year-old that still lives with her baby daddy. That's not what a quality okay. man is going to choose. Now, a man who might just want to have sex with you, who don't really have no future plans with you, he probably take you out because he don't want nothing. A man who in a relationship already and knows that he can mess with you on the low because you already live with your baby daddy, so it's an equal opportunity situation. But this is not what a man who was trying to set up a life with a woman would choose. And I feel like as much as I love my ladies, you, there got to be some housekeeping, right? And there's nothing wrong with you at least get your own place before That's you start looking for a new man. That's what I'm working on, Kendra. Ma'am, you a damned receptionist at a hotel. You talking about I'm working on it. You just had a damn kid last year by this nigga. <laughs> I'm working on it now after I got, after I got some pipe. I'm now working on it. Okay. Yeah, sure. She's working on it, all right. She's working on trying to damn find a dude that's actually worth the damn. Oh, um, yep, she's working on it, all right. Mm hmm. I'm working on well, it. Well, work on that and then work then on call dating. You, then call you back because I'm going to come I back mean, on your show. You're here now. I'm just, I just want to keep it real with you. Like, of course, I respect it. I love you, Kendra. I respect it. Yeah, I love you back, and it's hard, <laughs> but I like this. That's crazy. And honestly, why can't y'all just work it out? Y'all have a one-year-old, three-year-old. Y'all live together. Like, what? I mean, in the perfect world, y'all can figure it out because y'all already a family. Uh, I just feel like we grew up differently, so. It ain't the matter of you grew up differently. You have children by this man. Three and one. It ain't no damn trying to figure out. It ain't no damn, oh, we didn't work out. No, y'all didn't work out after having two kids. At some point in time, y'all need to start taking responsibility for y'all shit in this. You had children by this man. This man did not want to be with you. You had two kids by this man, I should say. It ain't no just, oh, it just happened or it was a mistake. No, you did that shit intentionally. Stop trying to sit here and trying to gain sympathy from everyday average Americans because your goofy ass wanted to damn have all these damn kids by this man. Enough is enough. I just feel like he has a lot of trauma that he doesn't want to deal with. So honestly, like, I just don't see this working at all. They want me to continue. What are your, um, we, we were almost at the end. Well, when's the last time you was intimate, intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Uh, probably about three weeks ago. With your child's father? Mm-hmm. 
You honestly didn't think anything was wrong with this? No, not really, because I know where my heart is at, and I know, like, it's, it's over. Like, I gave him three years, and we're still at the same place that we've been. Girl, how is it over? You slept with him three weeks ago when you lived with him. Y'all got two kids <laughs> together, a one and a three-year-old. So how is Kend- it? What, what, part, what part of that equals Kendra, over? What Kendra, part of that just, equals over? Just because you're intimate with somebody doesn't mean that you're meant to be or there's compatibility there. Like, we live together, of course. Now, you stupid hoe. You. Oh, boy. Y'all was literally fucking last three weeks ago. Just because you intimate with somebody doesn't mean y'all meant to be together. In what world does this shit make sense to y'all if a man does this? Now, if a man do this shit, y'all gonna be up in arms talking about he's a hoe. You think this shit okay? Wow. You know, you might have your Yeah, but you have to realize y'all not just intimate, which is one part. Okay, that is a part. But let's just say, okay, one thing is y'all slept together three weeks ago. That's one thing. Another thing is I have two young kids. You have a one-year-old and a three-year-old. That's a whole nother equation. Then y'all live together. That's equation number three. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Kendra, it's a long story, honestly. <laughs> what the fuck is the long story? Y'all still live together. Okay, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. Let's run down the list, shall we? You work at a damn fucking hotel. You got two kids by this Negro. The kids are one and three. You still live together. Y'all just fucked last week or three weeks ago. And you talking about, oh, you talking about it's um just because we we are intimate doesn't mean that we um that we do, are meant to be together. Y'all still doing all the family shit. So why are you on here looking for a whole nigga and you still fucking the nigga that you had kids by? Meanwhile, you had a kid by this nigga a year ago. So you are the... Oh my God. Why the fuck am I already trying... Mm, Jesus help me. Um, What are three flaws you have to work on? Um, I would say communication... Mm. Communication Three flaws You gotta literally think To the top of your ass crack To find out What the f- <laughs> what three flaws your ass have Communication is one You haven't literally strained your brain To find out what your other two flaws are I can literally see the steam Coming off of your damn Internal Radiator on the top of your brain Literally, you never mind. You you might want to un you might want to get them damn braids removed at your head because apparently your damn brain ain't fucking working right. Mm, I don't know, Kendra. Answer the goddamn phone. You at work, ma'am. What? What? <laughs> what? You can't name three flaws. I'm sorry, Kendra. I'm sorry. He lick. Let me help you out. You live with your huh? baby daddy still. You slept with your baby daddy three weeks ago. Y'all got a one and a three-year-old together. You ain't giving us, you want me to keep going? <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking for love. Like, that's it. Well, that's the problem. Well, find love in your baby daddy and get the fuck away from all of us. Find love in that Negro. I'm, mm, bruh, this shit can't be fucking real. Find love in your baby pappy and leave all men the fuck alone and go over there have his have some more his kids and do that stay the fuck far the fuck away from all of us at this fucking point you take your slow looking self back to your baby daddy with who you live with i might add get over this damn phone and shut the fuck up why the fuck you got fucking white or pink 
like pink eyeliner in the first place. With these goofy ass glasses looking like fucking Poindexter from the no, man. Looking for love. Love is in the mirror, okay? You don't oh, have to I find love. love. We're born. Yeah, we know you love yourself. Love's in the mirror and go and go love your baby daddy. Then how about that? Thank you. Next. For love, right? So you don't have to look far for love. But the way you love yourself is the way somebody else is gonna love you. And you know, I always tell people, you're gonna see I don't know if you're this is I don't know if, I don't know if I'm saying things that's enlightening to you it's things that i would think you would know but the cousins are definitely gonna tell you this like i don't understand how y'all need to get some new girlfriends because your girlfriend should have told you this your girlfriend should have said at least get your own place because how does the guy pick you up you live with your baby daddy exactly so that means that if i want to take you out on a day i gotta go fucking to your baby daddy house Come pick your ass up. You could have just got some damn pipe before you just got in my damn car and you leaking on my seats. And now I got to bring you back to your baby daddy house. You get piped down again and I'm looking like the dumbass coming to pick your ass up to go take you out to damn dinner. And what am I getting in return? The title of the title stamped on my forehead. Dumb ass. And you slept with three weeks ago. So how does a new man even take you out on a date? <laughs> you got a point. It took Kendra to tell you that just to say you got a point. You fucking... You fucking stupid motherfuckers. How does a new man bring you to... Because y'all also gotta know this too. Respectable men, they got a they got a list of people y'all gotta pass the test with, right? Okay, she went and that's fine. Okay, this is another eye opener. If you most respectable men, not all, but most, they have a group of people you gotta pass the test with. It might be their grandmama, their mama, their auntie, or their sister. Okay, they gonna have to approve of you. So just know as you trying to win his heart and y'all going. These women that he respects in his life are also going to have to co-sign you to a certain degree. And if they don't co-sign you, it's going to be hard for y'all to move forward to the next step. So I think what's happening is, you know, again, ladies, and I, in honor of sisterhood, I do understand there's a lot of men full of shit, okay? And y'all trying to find this Prince Charming. But I think, women, you got to start accepting the fact that some of y'all full of shit too. And some of y'all gotta start getting your shit together. Like what? She went away, but we Kendra, most women nowadays are full of shit. What the fuck are you talking about? Most women nowadays are full of shit. Most. You can't tell us that. You can't tell us that y'all ain't. Oh my God. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all really lost your damn minds. Mm. Boy, oh boy. We had a whole bunch of questions. Um, someone, Pookie said, she should have a bow tie on with the shirt button all the way up to the top. Unfashionable swine. I don't know what that means. LII said it wasn't trauma in the bedroom. Lee Turner said, hang up, Kendra. She's wasting our time. Kareem says she's here to piss her baby daddy off. Fix your home, sis. Coffee Killer said, are you here trying to make your baby daddy move to be in a relationship through jealousy? Someone says she she seriously threw it all off. Living with her baby daddy, child. Ma'am, if you don't get the... And then Lord of Leon says she's a bigger character than the last guy. Who, child? Y'all know, and listen, 
Um, when she told me normally when um, and it's crazy because I did something I don't normally do. And normally when women have children under the age of five, well, I did ask her why I didn't work with her baby daddy. But normally I say, what would you say to the man that might judge you because you have a one-year-old and a three-year-old? And I actually... You know something funny? The fact that this woman literally said this shit and she acting like this shit ain't this shit ain't ain't not is not serious. She she is not a serious woman. And the fact that she literally had to have somebody tell her this shit it's 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 magically just funny to me at least. Didn't even ask for that. I said let's just move forward. I mean, that's, that's a normal thing I normally will say, but I didn't ask that. And then we get to the part she lives with her baby daddy. And then y'all, this is why I be asking these questions. And I really want y'all to start getting y'all some new friends or new something, shit. Y'all shouldn't be learning this stuff from me. Y'all grown. At this age, y'all should be knowing some, some y'all should know more than the things I got to tell you on this show. What's happening on this Monday, child? Kings and Queens said, ladies, please start learning your word. Two kids under four, and you still live and sleeping with your baby daddy. No man of value will sign up for this. I mean, she's telling the truth. Why would he? No. Men shouldn't have to damn tell y'all that shit. Why why is it that y'all literally have to have to have us? Tell y'all that sleeping with your fucking baby daddy is a problem. Why is it that we got to tell y'all that shit? Why is it that y'all can't figure that shit out with common fucking sense? Anybody that knows that... Anybody that knows that this shit knows that sleeping with your baby daddy is automatic red flag for any man. Anybody, everybody know that shit. You don't you don't have to have a brain surgeon or a rocket scientist to, to fucking figure that shit out. That means you fucking ignorant as hell if you think that shit's okay. Boy, oh boy. This Jesus. This this is just this is just ridiculous. Fucking damn ridiculous. And then y'all get mad at us when we call y'all asses out. Oh my god. Just just, just slow. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast, and swap with the comment. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. Bye, guys.